Hello, welcome. Let's recap. I had a pretty short shift today. It was only six hours, so I decided that I'm hungry and I wanted to make some tacos. For breakfast, I had some salmon benedict from work, but it really upset my stomach. I'm probably never gonna eat the salmon benedict again. But anyways, I am making, depending on how fast my shrimp thaw, which probably not soon enough, so I'll use them for curry. I am going to be making then old vegetarian tacos using beefless ground beef from Trader Joe's. Low-key, high-key, not Trader Joe's sponsored, but pretty much everything that I'm using is from Trader Joe's. Hashtag sponsor me, Trader Joe's. Tengo hambre y mi madre tiene hambre. Yo quiero aprender español porque yo quiero poder tres Linguist. I'm trying to learn how to speak Spanish and the cooks at work are helping me. A couple years ago, me and my mom went to Ensenada and we had their tacos con camarones and they were literally the best tacos we've ever had in our entire lives. We ended up ordering maybe around like, I don't know, 12 tacos all together and they were cheap too. They were only a dollar and they were amazing and I'm obsessed with them and they are the best tacos that I'll ever have in my entire life. But today I am going to show you an X amount of of different types of assortments of tacos that you can do. The reason why I'm saying X is because I actually don't know how many different types of tacos I'm gonna make. I just have a lot of ideas. I'm already preheating my pan. I already pre-diced some yellow onion. I am going to be adding my vegan butter to my pan. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be caramelizing my onions. So I'm going to be adding about like two tablespoons of butter. Now I'm gonna turn down the the heat to medium low. Make her look the spoon. I'm gonna let the butter melt and then I'm going to be adding my onions and I'm gonna be adding pepper, salt, and sugar. And I'm going to slowly allow it to glisten up and become beautiful and delish. And it's gonna take a little bit because we want to do it on low heat so that all the flavors and juices can come out and about. Onions are in. We are going to be adding Sugar, spice, and everything nice. So here's my sugar. I'm not measuring because we don't measure. Now we are going to be adding pepper. I know I should be grinding my pepper, but we're not, sorry. And then we're going to be adding Morton salt, iodized. Bam, mix it around town. And you are slowly going to let these onions become translucent. And then we are going to pop in half of our beefless ground beef. We have jalapeno sauce from Trader Joe's. We have curry sauce, and I'm going to be making some curry tacos for you. That's right, ladies and gents, that's right. We have this random assortment of cheese that I found that I thought would be delish. I'm going to be shredding this cheese, depending on which one I like, and I'm going to be adding some jalapenos and maybe something else, and We'll go from there. So see how my onions are like translucent now? That's exactly what we want. So now I am going to be popping my beefless beef and I'm going to be adding half of this because I'm only feeding me and my mom and I can't stand when YouTubers waste food and I feel like with a lot of the cooking videos that they do, as well as a lot of the food, food trial. When they try food, like a bunch of food, I feel like it's a waste unless they're doing mukbangs. But yeah, so we're adding like half of this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna add this whole thing because I know I'm gonna be eating these. I lied, sorry. But I still hate when people waste food and we don't waste food in this household ever. Now I'm gonna turn up my heat a little bit to medium. And so now my goal with this meat, I don't wanna overpower it with seasoning because that's what the all the toppings are gonna do for the tacos and you want to definitely just taste the meat itself and this Trader Joe's meat is actually like really fire so I'm going to be simply seasoning this with some salt pepper same thing don't want to kill it and now I'm gonna also add a little bit of olive oil there was butter in here just so that it doesn't stick and I'm also going to be adding the Trader Joe's taco mix but I'm barely adding any, like I'm literally adding maybe one fourth of a tablespoon just for like a little bit of flavor, but again, I don't wanna overpower the meat. See how little, I'm just like barely dabbing it. 
Bam, like that's it. And plus this seasoning is very flavorful. You'll be chilling with that. So now I'm just going to mix it around and I'm gonna let it cook for about five minutes. I lied, maybe a little more, we'll see. I'll let you know. And while this is cooking, I cut up some orange bell peppers, yellow bell peppers, red onions, and I've been letting this heat up over here. And I am going to saute this for my curry tacos, which I am going to be seasoning them up with this tarje fajita skillet sauce with chipotle and lime. I'm going to be adding butter to this, and I'm also gonna be lowering my heat yet again. I'm gonna add one more scoop. Make sure to lick your spoon, swirl it. Let it fully melt. Let's mix this around. Mm, it smells great. So now this is fully melted. I'm going to be adding my bell peppers and red onions. And I'm gonna let them saute in here for a bit before I add in my fajita skillet sauce with chipotle lime mix. And all I'm gonna be doing is adding just a little bit of pepper and salt just so they can already start picking up on those flavors. It's been a few minutes. I added red pepper flakes to both. I am now going to be adding my fajita mix once I mix this. And I'm also going to turn up my heat a little bit, but not too much. So I don't want to burn anything. I want it to slowly develop its nice deliciousness. So I'm not going to be adding a lot. Oh. I didn't expect it to be this color. Interesting. Mmm, that smells delish. Yeah, that's delish. That tastes like the Chipotle fajita mix. Okay, now I'm definitely going to turn my heat up to medium. And then once these two are done cooking, we can basically start assembling our tacos. Ooh, look at that golden, that brown crispiness. Does that not look like real meat? Like, come on. I'm so excited. I'm going to eventually become vegan. Eventually. That's what matters. So I'm just gonna let this finish cooking and then I'll come back when it's time to assemble the tacos. Okay, great. So we're back. So I ended up actually sauteing these vegetables for literally like an extra 15 minutes on low heat. They came out outstanding. So I already have all my toppings prepared. I have my tortillas warmed up. I have my sauteed bell peppers and red onions. I have my cheese. Out of these three, I ended up choosing the Iberico, but I accidentally used the Manchego instead, but they're both fire. All of them are really good, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. They taste all pretty similar. I have my jalapenos. I have my corn and I have my avocado. I wanted to use half an avocado, but I ended up having to use the whole avocado because 75% of it was brown and disgusting, even though my mom literally just bought these, but whatever, not a big deal. We, for our sauces, we have our jalapeno sauce from Trader Joe's. We have sriracha mayo. If you wanted it to be vegan, you can do vegan mayo with sriracha and mix it together. And we have our yellow Thai curry sauce for our Thai curry tacos. I am going to be placing my tacos in here so that they hold their shape. Um, and yeah, so we're now we're gonna assemble them. We are starting off with our our first taco. For this first one, I'm adding my beefless beef. I am going to be adding corn, and I'm going to be adding avocado. And for this one, I am going to be using my sriracha mayo. I need to low key buy another one because I'm running out. Now for my second taco, pop that bad boy in there. Again, I'm adding meat. Uh, I'm gonna put this closer to me so that I don't spill anymore. So again, I'm gonna be adding meat. I tasted some already. Mmm, delish. I highly recommend you guys try this. Honestly, it's so good. I'm going to be adding my cheese and jalapenos and maybe even honestly just a little corn for flavor. I would add sour cream to this one, but I don't have sour cream and I thought I did. But if you make this, also add sour cream to it. Now I'm going to be adding my jalapeno. 
I added a little too much, but it's okay. My jalapeno sauce from Treader Hose. Now for my last one. Yay, they're gonna look so pretty. Again, I am going to be doing my beefless beef. And we'll take a bite for yourself for good luck. Now, I'm gonna be adding my bell peppers. Mmm. The vegetables came out so good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is it. And I'm gonna be adding my Thai curry. Bam! Let me make it nice and pretty. My curry taco. Jalapeno taco. And spicy sriracha taco. Mmm, that looks so good. Wow. Okay, well, to conclude this video, I'm going to be doing a taste test of all these three tacos, and I'm going to let you know what the tea is. I'm going to start off with the first one I made, which is the avocado spice... Oops, I'm already dropping stuff. <laughs> avocado spicy sriracha and corn one. That was really good. I'm gonna take another bite before I rate this. I rate the avocado one 10 out of 10. I ate the whole thing, so I had to pause. Now I'm gonna try my oops, jalapeno one. I low-key added a little too much jalapeno sauce, and it's a little spicy, but a girl can handle. Very good. A little bit on the spicy side. The cheese added an amazing touch to it. I give it a I give it a 10 out of 10. Chef's kiss. I'm gonna take another bite to see if I fully agree with that one more time. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. You have to try it. Okay, so I left half of it because I want my mom to try it. Now I'm gonna add, now I'm gonna try the curry taco. My mouth is low-key burning from the jalapeno one, but it's all good. It's okay, I probably killed a couple taste buds. No worries. I think I just invented something. Curry tacos? I don't know if that exists to be honest, but that smacks. I'm gonna add a little more meat to this one, the curry taco, because it is very saucy. If you like it saucy, keep it the way it is. I'm gonna take another bite, fully rate it, and I'm gonna have my mom try these too. My favorite one, I would have to say, would be the avocado sriracha one, which I ate the whole thing of. I might make her another one if she doesn't like these two as much. Okay, I have my mom with me. Hi. Hi. This is the jalapeno one, so try this one first. Is it spicy? Chut, chut. Mom, it's good. Okay, out of ten. Nine. Why nine? Too Must, spicy. Uh -huh. Too spicy. Okay, it's okay. Try my curry one now. Hold on. Let me finish that. Okay, we're ready. This is the curry one. Mm. This one ten. The curry one ten? Mm? Why? It's just less spicy. <laughs> okay. Do you want the rest of these? No. Chew them. Too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks. Bullshit. I'm gonna make it with curry next time. It didn't dethaw in time. It didn't dethaw in time. Do you want me to make you another one? No. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, well, this concludes my taco video. By the way, my name is Gina Polnev, aka Lil Ruski. I didn't mention that in the beginning of the video, but go ahead and like and subscribe if you like this taco video, if you like my mom's reaction. I hope you enjoyed these tacos as much as I enjoyed making them. Stay safe, be kind to animals, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye! I ended up finishing the jalapeno one for myself, since my mom's a hater. He's just really sensitive to spicy. <laughs> oh. You don't have to, but you can. Okay.
<laughs> Literally in class. Um, okay, so today is a couple days later and I'm still craving tacos, so I'm going to be making shrimp tacos. I'm not gonna show the process of making these shrimp tacos, I'm just gonna show you the aftermath of once I complete them after my lash appointment, I'm just letting them defrost for now. But if you do want a shrimp taco tutorial, I got you because they're fucking amazing! So these are my shrimp tacos, I just set them up with some pepper jack, marinated them with shrimp and added some cabbage. I would have added avocado as well, but the avocados at the store were really good.